Hey guys, Rex here. We're going to have an even more scary discussion today. The last video we did on um, church time is over. Man, I'll tell you what, you want to get the you want to get the dissertations, the extremely long dissertations from all the PhD Bible seminary students, the philosophy majors, all those type of guys. They're real smart ones, you know. Like the scribes and the Pharisees who are so smart, like those kids, they're never going to get into the kingdom of heaven because they're not smart enough. They haven't read enough. They haven't got enough college to understand it. The kids, you know, us scribes and Pharisees, we're going to get in there first because we're smarter, right? Okay, guys. But I'll tell you what, man. You want to see a lot of dudes have a conniption fit. Be like, hey, man, walk into a church. Here's a joke. Walk into a church and say, hey, guys, you like this Bible? Oh, yeah, we love it, Rex. The Bible's a great thing. Hey guys, should we do what's in this Bible? What is the matter with you? How d how dare you think we should do what's in the Bible or try to do what's in the Bible? What's the matter? Haven't you heard about the new covenant? Rex, there's this thing called the new covenant. You probably never heard of it. Like, oh no, I never heard of that before. Never heard about that in first grade religion class or nothing. <laughs> Hold your horses, guys. There's a point to this. So can you be saved? Here's my question for all the smart guys, the super smart ones, right? Are we saved by keeping the law? No, Rex, we're saved by grace. I would agree. There's nothing I can do to tip the scales of balance to make me all of a sudden cool enough or you know do enough good deeds to get into the kingdom. It's not what I'm talking about. I'm asking about the mechanisms of salvation. Are we saved by grace or saved by the law? Now, before you start typing your dissertation, pause for a minute. Just wait on the typing scan back up to the thing where we're talking. Where this is going to make your brain's going to explode if you're listening. Most guys are already typing their dissertation or copy and pasting the dissertation that their preacher said or Calvin or Tyndall or whoever, right? They're going to copy and they're right now searching on their, you know, their network to grab it and copy and paste the answer into the comments cuz I know how this I know I know how this works. You ready? Where are the mechanisms of salvation? outlined. What are the mechanisms of salvation and where can you find them? Anyone know the answer? Just asking for a friend. Do we just randomly guess out of the blue? Like, hmm, I wonder, you know, if we had some blameless blood to be spilled on behalf of our account, then that would probably save us. So like, I just, just thought of that out of nowhere. How do you know that that's there? Where did, where did that concept come from? Where is that detailed and outlined? Where are the legalities detailed and outlined saying this is exactly how this thing works and you have to do this thing to apply this to your account? What's the thing you do? It's all that stuff you guys have been typing at me the whole time. Hello, McFly. Hello, McFly. Anyone home? Just type in barren false witness before you even stop to think or even ask, Rex, do you think that we're saved by keeping the law? Good question. I believe we're saved by grace. This is what I believe. I believe we're saved by grace because he loves us. It's a gift, right? And I believe that he applies it to our account if we accept the blood of as it states in the law. That's how I know it works, because it says it in the law. So am I saved by keeping that law? And with that, and with that, I wish you a wonderful rest day. I am going to go and have peace and rest. Good night, guys. Rex out.